Hello, welcome back to Cloud and Web Developer. Carlos here. Today, really quickly, I want to show you how you can use ChatGPT4 API with a very basic JavaScript HTML site that I'm going to show you here. So real simple, no frameworks, nothing to install, no libraries, nothing at all. So uh, I received an email from OpenAI that my invitation for ChatGPT 8000 context has been approved. And it took me to this page right here in which it describes the models that are available for testing. So it's GPT-4 and a snapshot of GPT-4 and of course uh, 3 and 3.5 versions. So what you need, remember, is just you need to have an API key which you can get from platform.openai.com and it's a very straightforward process. I uh, just need to issue an API key which we will use in your application. So let's move to the code. So what you're seeing here in my screen on the left side is essentially what we're going to build today. This is a very simple uh, HTML, JavaScript site right here. There's no CSS, no styles. It's essentially just a form. So I'm going to go first through the index HTML. So we have the form, a label here, enter your message, an input and a submit button right here. And we have a response text, which is a text area. And this is where the response is going to appear. So the magic will happen in script.js, which is another file. If you're using uh, VS Code like I am, you just need to create those two files, index.html and script.js. And inside script.js is where we have uh, magic. I'm starting here from line four because at the very top is where my API is written. I'm going to show you and I'm going to have to block it, right? So this is what we have. You have to paste here the API key that you got from platform.openai.com, the site that I showed you before. And then from here, what I'm doing is essentially assigning a variable to the form, to my text input, into the response text area, right? So these are the names or the IDs of the HTML elements that we describe in HTML. And this is how you're gonna be calling uh, ChatGPT API. So essentially is a post request that you're gonna do to this uh, link right here to this URL and you're going to keep your content type as application JSON in authorization you're going to write a bearer and in here you type or you put a variable to your API key that you that you uh, got from OpenAI okay this is where you need to choose which model you want to use I'm going to be testing chat GPT 4 so you you type GPT-4 if I wanted to try other model then I can come back here and for example if I want to use ChatGPT 3.5 I can just copy and essentially just paste here right so we're going to try GPT 4 today so I'm just going to leave it at that okay I have other videos explaining what the temperature and the top P is so today uh, trust me that this is probably a very uh, basic and straightforward uh, and general use uh, settings for you and in here, because it's asynchronous, we're going to wait for the response. And once we get the response, we're going to place it in the response area. If there's an error, we're going to catch it and we're going to display it to the user. OK, and I usually run this with uh, VS Code, um, the go live server here. And I'm just going to keep asking, why is my cat so cute? I'm going to submit. And I didn't add any spinners. I have another video with a spinner just to show the user that is processing. Uh, not here. This is the, the very basic configuration. And we have here the answer from ChatGPT4. And if I change this to 3.5 Turbo and I save, let's ask the same question. Now I'm going to actually accessing 3.5. And the answer I imagine is going to be, see, it's completely different. Uh, so a little bit short. But there you go. Now I can really just choose which uh, model I want to use and play with it. I hope this was uh, useful. Uh, as a, again, the repository is available in my GitHub and the link below. Play with it and good luck. This is very exciting. And I'll see you on the next video on Cloud and Web Developer. Bye-bye.